Until now, we have only talked about SVD itself, but how do they actually perform dimensionality reduction using SVD? Going back to the previous user movie example, let's say that we have a lot of points and each point represents one user and the X coordinate of a point represents the user's rating for movie one and the Y coordinate of this point represents the user's rating for movie two. And we can see that now for each user or for each point, we need to use two coordinates to represent it. And instead of using two coordinate to describe the point locations, let's use only one coordinate, Z. And in, and in this new coordinate system of Z, each point's position will be its location along the vector v1. But how do we choose v1? Ideally, we want to choose v1 such that we can minimize the reconstruction error. And here the reconstruction error, graphically, it just means uh, the distance between one point and, uh, and the vector v1. For example, the reconstruction error for this point would be the distance between here and, and this vector here. So it's going to be the length of this line segment. And formally, our goal is to minimize the sum of reconstruction errors laid out by the equation here, where the xij is the old coordinates in the old coordinate system, and zij is the coordinates in the new coordinate system. And again, the reconstruction error for each point is simply the distance between one point and the vector v1. And interestingly, SVD gives us the best axis to be projected on. So here, the best simply means minimizing the reconstruction error. In other words, SVD actually produces minimum reconstruction error. And if we look at our previous example, the previous user movie matrix example, where we factorize the input matrix, this is the rating matrix. We factorize it into three matrices, U, Sigma, and V. And the V is the user to concept matrix. And v is the movie to concept matrix. And correspondingly, the optimal V1 happens to be the first right singular vector of this SVD, which is here. And if you turn our attention to the sigma matrix, the first element of this sigma matrix is actually the variance or spread on the V1 axis. So the larger it is, the larger variance the points will be when they're projected onto this xv1. So after we perform this SVD, how do we get the new coordinates for each user? Here we have seven users, right? How do we get the new coordinates for these seven users? We can do this by simply multiplying the two matrices, u and sigma. And this is the matrix this is basically the product of these two matrices where we can see that the first row actually represents the new coordinate of the first user. And the first column is the projection of these seven users on the sci-fi axis. So graphically, it means, it means the location of all these points when they are projected to this V1, V1 axis. So how do we exactly do this dimensionality reduction? We do this by simply setting the smallest singular value to zero. And by doing this, we're effectively ignoring the last column of U and ignoring the last row of V transforms. So basically we are approximating this input rating matrix using the product of these three smaller matrices. And now let's see how good this approximation is. 
let's first define the reconstruction error as uh, for Binet's norm of the distance between matrix A and matrix B. So this is effectively just the sum of the square distance of each element in A and B. And as we can see, the reconstruction error is actually quite low. For example, the first element of the matrix A is one, and correspondingly, the first element in B is actually 0 0.92, which is very close to one. And another example is that the element in the center of A is five, and correspondingly, the element in the center of B is 4.82, which is also very close to five. 